Welcome back, my hatchlings, to Pokemon Black. Randomized uh, my effect, my repels effect. War off. Uh, we're in the desert uh, because the plot. Yeah, there we go. I feel weird today. Like I just, I, I felt so tired the past few days, and it's so hot in my apartment, and it's late November, and it's so fucking hot. It's like 80 degrees outside. Fucking global warming. New, living in a desert, it's just all mixing poorly together, and here I am in an apartment with no air conditioner. It's hot. Anyway, this is also where we got Kirby. This is where we got Kirby, and the route we're actually going to is where we got Roanoa. And simultaneously, this is where like half of my deaths happened. We had so many deaths in this desert. I wonder how many actually were in. I want to say 50% of my deaths so far have been in this desert. Oh my god. I just hate. I feel so much hate right now. Are you kidding me? <gasps> no! No! The sense! That might actually be factual information. Um, anyways, we're going to the desert uh, relic castle something. Some, it's called something like that. This is a drill burr. This Pokemon reminds me of my friend Monica, who is from Egypt and lives like an apartment complex over from me. Or did, uh, at the time of recording she does, but by the time this video comes out she would have moved to Minnesota by now. And uh, she just brought over some Egyptian lasagna, and I'm excited to try it. Anyways, oh the Pokemon reminds me of her because it's one of her favorite Pokemon. Stop, Helen! That's the entrance to the relic house. That's where I'm fucking going, you idiot. You're impressive, Hadlin, making it here before. I, I've been here. Be I was here like two months ago. I, I'm also way too close to my microphone. Sorry. <laughs> I'm all yelling in your guys' ears. Dealing with the Desert Resort Pokemon took longer than I would have thought. I only made it all the way out here thanks to my Pokemon. I, I saw like one Pokemon on my way here. Anyways, I'm going to go in <laughs> later. Alright, so we've already battled the, the trainers here. That we can. We didn't battle an Earth Ring. I mean, we might have. I might have battled an Earth Ring back when I originally came through here. But we're not going to battle one today. Because I don't want to. <laughs> I, I'm not here to battle bears, you know? They're too low level. And I got a video to make. This is episode 30. We made it into the, into the 30s. That's something to be impressed with, I think. Can I go through here? Cool, we could actually go through here now. Before, we couldn't. Oh, hey. Ryoko. Getz has told us that once again, we should test how much power you have. We will see if you can defeat Team Plasma. Uh, but I'm not personally. No, I'm, I'm going to just stand here. Coward. I've heard about you. I heard you work Pokemon hard. Not really. My team is pretty... I haven't really put too much effort into like grinding or anything in this game. I did it when we had all the deaths in the desert, I would have to grind, but since then, my team just naturally levels up, learns some badass moves. I haven't really had to put too much effort. It's been kind of nice, actually, compared to Prism, where I had to spend like four hours straight just grinding out teams. God, so bad. The next the next Nuzlocke I'm doing on the channel is going to be a ROM hack, by the way. Um, it was a suggestion by somebody on a live stream, and... Uh, I'm hoping it's not going to be horrible. Uh, camera up. I gotta swap out. Oh no. No, no, I gotta swap out. And I'm going to break the camel's back or something. There's, there's a phrase that has to do with the camel's back. City's breaking down on a camel. That's a lyric. That's not the camel's back saying though. That's gorillas. <laughs> Easy. And I'll swap back to uh, Ronoa. Ronoa is surprisingly the lowest level on the team. I think it's because I've been afraid of putting him out. Because he's the only Pokemon on the team that's not fully evolved. So I'm worried that he's just going to die. This Buneri probably has like Rock Tomb or something. That's Jump Kick. We actually resist that. No, I'll hit it with the Pursuit. Save the PP of our great moves. Take that, Dr. N. I actually want to see something really quick. I haven't really examined my team in a while. 
gentle. Um. So between the defenses, his physical defense is lower. Honestly, it's pretty pretty good. That attack is amazing. Alright. Just wanted to take a look. Oh no! I'm falling! Help! Oh no! Uh, just kidding, I wanted to fall down here. To get this item. That's not gonna evolve my Scyther. Wanna fight? You! To please my Pokemon, lose! Alright, whatever. I'm gonna just drink some water. Gotta stay hydrated for these these Pokemon sessions. Magneton. That's not good. That's not good at all. Rono is weak to Magneton. Um I'll go in the cookie chrome. Hopefully it'll go with an electric attack. And then I can just hit a pull those. It's probably gonna have sturdy. Oh my magnet bomb! That's fine. We survived it last time, we'll survive it again. I'm gonna go bulldoze. It's gonna survive on one HP. It's gonna hit me with another magnet. Oh, I actually didn't have sturdy. I wonder what it had. Magnetize maybe. Shiftery. Whoa. Oh, oh, Shiftery is four times weak to bug moves. Roanoa, this is this is all you, buddy. One fury cutter is gonna end your life. Nice. I really want to start watching One Piece. Maybe I'll start that. No, I can't. I was going to say maybe I'll start my 2021 with that. But I'm going to start Inuyasha in 2021. It sucks that, like, by the time this video is out, I've watched a lot of Inuyasha. But I have nothing to say about Inuyasha because the time of recording, I haven't seen it yet. It's one, that's one of the cons of bulk recording this entire Nuzlocke ahead of time. But the pro is that you guys don't have any hiatuses when I put these videos out. And I could maybe do two news locks in one year instead of one in four years. <laughs> so, you know, there's there's pros and cons to everything in life. And that's the pro and con here. Alright. Slash. Oh, what also sucks about being so warm and tired today is just that I haven't done anything productive. I've just been watching YouTube and Twitch and I played a little bit of Assassin's Creed Rogue which is kind of productive I guess because I'm all, I have like five achievements left in that game but and I'm doing this so I guess, I guess I'm starting to get productive which is good mock punch okay I don't think that'll benefit anybody on my team so I'm just gonna leave it uh, let's go upstairs and see what daddy's cooking If everyone frees their Pokemon, there's no winning or losing. Are you sure about that? I'm sure there's going to be some wins and some loses. Some losses? Loses? I don't know. English isn't my first language. It is, though. It actually is my first language. I just like to lie. I play too much Among Us nowadays. That I, I feel like I lie more because of that. Alright, I'm going to spam double team. And assuming it doesn't throw a Destiny Bond out, I'll just Fury Cut it. I might be able to just fury cut it right now, actually. Okay, t it took it pretty well. And I can't hit it with another Destiny or another fury cutter. Because it's going to kill me. So we're just going to keep double teaming. Can counter slash Miracoat miss if I hit it? I don't know. Alright, so this wasn't consecutive, so it's not going to kill. Right, now I need a way for it to not use Destiny Bond again. I like to imagine Destiny Bond is just Wobbuffet like hugging my Pokemon. It's like I'll take you down with me. It's like that. It's like in the the last Harry Potter movie where Harry and Voldemort embrace on the edge of that cliff. And they fall down together. I like to imagine that. I like to imagine. You no, know what if I ever get a Wobbuffet on a Nuzlocke, I'm gonna name it Voldemort. That's a promise. That's a hatch generation promise right there. I might forget. <laughs> I, 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 I might forget. It's not that I'm lying to you guys. I might just straight up forget. Hopefully I don't though. And I could insert the clip of me saying that. Soda pop? I wouldn't trust a soda pop that's been down here. Mm -mm, that's icky. Don't want any of that. 
Oh, this place is actually kind of a maze. I might miss some items. Just have to make decisions. Pokemon are too good for the likes of you. They are amazing, but putting them in the hands of foolish trainers can bring nothing good. Wouldn't you be a foolish trainer? You can't even think for yourself. Some fucking lunatic had to think for you. Oh, you caught one of the Earth Rings here? That's cool. I didn't. I think, what was my encounter in here? I think my drill burr was actually from in here. The one that died. I don't remember its name. It was like a... What was its name? It's like Mole... Mo, mo, I don't remember. What's the point in trying to... What's the point in trying to remember? I forgot already. It's out of my brain. I think I'm gonna remember something from like two months ago. No. I can barely remember yesterday. What did I do yesterday? I watched a lot of YouTube, watched a lot of Twitch. I took a nap. Wow, yesterday was a lot like today. Except I didn't record anything yesterday. I'm gonna stay in for Feebass because I'm just gonna keep fury cutting. I'm glad we hit level 40 though. I don't know is caught up in levels pretty much. I'm staying for Riolu. Just gonna I'm just gonna chop everything down. All your Pokemon? Chop! Yeah. They're minced meat. That's all your Pokemon are now. I cut up the dog and the fish and the bear and made a fucking meat salad. Anyways, let's continue. I'm an idiot! I ran, I ran, I ran down the hole. What have we got? A white herb? Somebody dropped their their weed? Somebody dropped their soda? I guess all I guess it makes I feel like a lot of stoners would hang out here. If stoners existed in the Pokemon universe. I don't I don't think I don't think there's stoners in the Pokemon universe. Like, prove me wrong if you can. I don't think they exist. TBH, I didn't mean to fall right here. Is this where I needed to fall? I don't think it was. I don't think, it's, I think, yeah, this is just where I was. Well, at least uh, I figured out where I need to go. I need to go down here. There's no point in struggling. Because it won't speed up anything, and it won't slow down anything. So, like, like I said, there's literally, literally no point in struggling. Did I check up here? So let's get this item, and then go down that hole. A smoke ball. All right, let's go. When I was a kid, I was afraid of quicksand. By the way. <clears throat> You'd see it like in the cartoons. The like, quicksand, oh no, and they're falling, and they're like, oh, I'm gonna die, and then somebody gets a stick and they grab the stick and they pull them out. I was always afraid I was gonna step in quicksand and nobody was gonna have the stick. I was just gonna fall in. This is even a double battle? I'm actually kind of sad. I really wanted a double battle. Because this is not a double battle, I gotta cut your boogers. I'm actually walking a uh, duosion. Evolve form of Solosis in Pokemon Go, and its name is Booger Ball. So it looks like a Booger Ball. What more is there to say? I should have swapped out. I don't know. I, I was like, I got this. No, I should definitely swap out for this one. Pokerona is part fire type. Fire and bug. Is it a pseudo legendary? I don't even know. I want to say it is. Yep, Gust would have hurt Rowanoa for sure. I'm gonna hit you with the old fashioned smackdown. I'm gonna RKO you out of nowhere. Kind of. It's not necessarily what that move is, but. Whatever. My king, I am so sorry. All along you thought you were the knight, but you were really the jester. You were the fool. Right, this will be Rorno's last battle in the front of the party. I won't tolerate people who have different ideas. Oh, fuck, dude, how ig- that's so ignorant. Fucking... I think the reason- I know the plot of this game is considered one of the best in all the Pokemon games, and I agree. They really put effort into the plot of this game compared to, like, any of the other Pokemon games. But it- I think it annoys me because... 
it's it rings so true to the world especially if you're an american and you live in the united states and you see firsthand the ignorance that people fucking display on their wrists and their face literally sometimes because they're not wearing a fucking mask in the middle of a pandemic <laughs> like it's my freedom to not wear a mask and kill people fucking stupid I think that's why this game infuriates me sometimes the plot it just it's just it's too close to home anyways I locked myself in a rollout so uh, let's see what happens here I need to be able to take this third hit. Okay, cool. We got a critical. Good job, Cookie Crumb. You saved your own life. Take that, Dr. Scott. Alright, let's swap Ronel out. He's done enough. I'll put Shiozaki up front. Cookie Crumb, you're kind of hurt, so I'll swap you down here. Yeah, I could heal. I have the healing items. I have the money. I'll look up here. Maybe, maybe I should. Oh, nope. Cutscene. How'd you get- how'd you catch up to me? Whoa, I finally caught up by letting you battle all the trainers so I didn't have to put in any effort. You two, come here, come to my side. Yes, daddy. It looks like everyone is here. <laughs> we're missing N, we're missing Bianca, we're missing like the professor. Uh, if we want to count the gym leader Bryson from last episode, we're missing him. I, I don't- I wouldn't say everyone's here. Like, <laughs> Solid Snake, he's not here. Sonic, Villager, I'm naming Smash Bros. characters. Uh, it seems you're working hard to resurrect Reshiram, the other dragon. Oh, I want to point out, I'm going to record Smash Sunday finally, the first episode of Season 2 with Remind this weekend. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated if I get a false alarm COVID alert again. Uh, to resurrect Reshiram, the other dragon type Pokemon, aren't you? But it appears the light zone you seek is not here. It's in the museum. Well then, congratulations are in order, Hatlin. You were chosen by our king. If you truly desire to keep the world as it is, where Pokemon live us alongside people, you must bring the other dragon Pokemon spoken in the legend battle for king. Blah, blah, blah. Release them, you say? Do the Pokemon who live with their trainers actually want that? Is the liberation you talk about really just stealing Pokemon from people? What's this? You speak the truth? I'll fire you like Donald Trump did to his fucking po I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's so hard to not bring up the politics of the world when it's so fucking in my face right here in this game. And it's even more true because this game is based on fucking the United States. Japan, you guys are brilliant. Game Freak, you fucking put America in their place. I don't even want to read this dialogue anymore. I'm upset. I'm upset. So you just stayed behind just to tell me that? Just to make a fool of me? I don't know what I said, because the trainer skipped the dialogue. I'm making sure a champion doesn't get hurt for no reason. Granted, the moment when someone loses all hope, I really do love to watch that moment. Well then, farewell. He just shoves me aside. You couldn't walk around. Rude ass. Alder, what are you going to do now? Hmm. It seems my only choice is to return to the Pokemon League and battle end. But it bothers me to do exactly what gets us once. More importantly, what should we do about the Lightstone? Alder, why don't you go outside for now? Yes, that's a good idea, little boy. It's hard to breathe in here. Did you guys think maybe I didn't want to leave? It's hard to put into words, but I'll never forgive them for this. What uh, What could that guy called in possibly want? Could he be trying to prove he is right by winning the battle of the two dragons? No, great. I forgot to put my phone on vibrate. Fucking who puts... Who does that with their hand? Who does that? Mm, she's like having a hot flash. Hatlin! Hello, Hatlin! Oh, you picked up! Hey, Hatlin! Come to the museum in Necron City immediately, right away! Got it? I mean, right now. I could hear Professor Juniper's voice from clear over here! You're standing next to me. <laughs> Seems like something big is happening. I wonder what is waiting at the museum in Necron City. I'll go on ahead. She didn't ask for you to go. I'll look around here once more. I don't want to believe what Getza says. You should head for the museum. Don't tell me what to do. I'm going back in here. Alright, I want to come back over here in case there's any items. Like I said, I'm really searching for this metal coat. Okay, wasted time. Um, I might do something off screen actually. Um, I haven't taught surf to anybody. 
And we could actually find a lot of items through surfing that I've missed. I might need to go on a off screen. I'll probably record it just to show the items I get. Like I did earlier on in this Nuzlocke. And get some items that I missed. But I have to teach Snow Cone Surf. I guess I don't have to. Um... I... I... I want to get rid of Sky Uppercut because I like having Focus Energy to boost our crits, especially on Slash. But having a fighting move gives me type coverage. So I think I will get rid of Focus Energy. Just kidding, I'm going to get rid of Sky Uppercut. I guess I could have gotten rid of Razor Shell. Now I think about it. Let's get rid of Razor Shell. I know the lower in defense could be good, but... It's fine. I'm okay with that. I just got done pacing around my apartment. Like all over my apartment and going inside and outside because I hear music but I don't know where it's coming from. And I've determined that it's actually coming from below me which is weird. I've never heard sound from below my apartment. So I don't know. Weirded me out. Thought I'd share that with you guys. Hey guys. Alder told me what's going on. Hatlin, you caught up in something serious, it seems. Is this it? Whoa, isn't that the stone found in the desert resort? Yes, that's right, but is it really a dragon-type Pokemon? Surely, when I investigated Dragon Spiral Tower, I found elements that were dated to the same era as this light stone. I looked into that. Impressive, as always. But, you know, we're lucky because we're Team Plaza, like, noticed that old stone that time. That's a good point. It's clear to me that they were trying to steal the Dragon Skull so they could revive the legendary Dragon-type Pokemon. If you would, Hatlin, take this. Wait a moment, Hatlin! If you take this Light Stone, that means you'll be the one to battle in if anything happens to me. Are you really okay with that? Yes. I understand. You are the main character of this Nuzlocke. Then here it is. Prepare yourself. Be strong. I see. If things don't go as planned, you'll use this Light Stone. You'll protect the true future for us and Pokemon. Hatlin, we're counting on you. Please take care of yourself. Hooray, I got a rock. <laughs> so how do we wake the Dragon-type Pokemon from the stone then? Huh? Hmm. <gasps> That's it, we got them, don't we? Aha, we got those too. Hatlin, go to Oplucid City. The gym leader of that city uses Dragon-type Pokemon. The gym leader would know something. I'll go ahead and wait for you there. Until then, this guy just loves to show off that he's a flying type Pokemon. Also guys, I found out off screen by trying to see what the levels for the Pokemon League are. We actually don't fight Alder as a champion. We fight N because of the whole plot thing. And then you have to rematch the Pokemon League to be able to fight Alder, but everybody's bumped up to level 75. Um, I don't know if I'm going to end the Nuzlocke on N, or maybe I will do some of the post game stuff and level up and maybe take on the Pokemon League and Alder, I don't know. Um, I would say comment and let me know, but I'm sure I'll have it figured out by the time. I most likely will do it. So, That's right, Oplucid City's Drayden might know something. Hey Hatlin, never forget that you always have Pokemon right by your side. I'm going to head back to the lab and do some research. I'll see if I can uncover what types of beings these legendary Dragon-type Pokemon are, and if there's any way to awaken them. Bianca's gonna do nothing. Useless. Ooh, sounds real serious. Um, that's about all I got out of it. Helen, do you know Pelucid City? When you leave from Icar City and like cross the tube line bridge, it's on the other side. Um, I'm not the great direction, so if you need more, check your town map, okay? Nobody asked you. All right. Uh, while I'm actually over here, uh. I could end the episode now. It's a good ending spot, but I'm actually gonna backtrack a little bit to do some surfing. So here's the first area we could surf. I should probably max repel so that way I don't get any counters. Cause I am like at max time pretty much for this episode. So hopefully we can get a metal coat. That's not a metal coat. Who's, is this a trainer over here? Oh it is, okay. Check out how much my Pokemon have grown up. I didn't ask. I just wanted items. Why do, why do you have a broom out here in the grass? What are you, what are you sweeping? Sweeping nothing. Uh, I guess I could ancient power it. Oh, there too. 
I guess I could use the extra levels. Why not? Um, I'm probably going to, when I go to the Pokemon League, I'm hoping to have the team at like level 50, I'm thinking. I think the highest level is like 55, and that's the champions. I think that was, or that was N's highest level, I think. Oh, but, oh, also we fight Getsus after N, I believe. If I'm right, and I think his highest level is like 57, so actually we'll probably be a little higher than 50. Maybe like 54, 55 will probably be where we're at, Pokemon League. We haven't had a death in a while, and I think I said that an episode two ago, so I feel comfortable saying it and not jinxing myself because I already said it. So I feel pretty good about this Nuzlocke. We're doing very well for ourselves, <laughs> except for the Dialgas that are getting thrown us. What did we do with Dialga last time? We went with Kirby, right? Kirby's our Dialga Slayer because I can't use Cookie Crumb. Cookie Crumb would be my preferred, but it's part Steel type, which is super effective on Cookie Crumb. Uh, let's just use Explode. Explosion. Explosion should take care of Dialga. He's present. Oh my god. It's fully healed already. That's hilarious. Yeah, it actually hurt. Oh, that hurt you more than it hurt me though. Yeah, Dialga, you're not scary. You look scary, though. You're scary in, uh... Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Time and Darkness. Dialga, Primal Dialga, or whatever it was called, was... scary. Oh, you gave me a berry! Thank you! Yeah. Metal Coat? Damn it! Power Lens, I'm glad I switched that on! Mantra Brist. I wish I created a log. You, when you randomize a game, you could... I uh, have a text log which tells you everything that's randomized, where all the Pokemon are, where all the items are. Uh, I don't want to use it to cheat. I want to use it to, after I finish this Nuzlocke and if I don't get a Metal Coat, I want to see if there's a Metal Coat anywhere. I could also check to see if there's anywhere you can actually buy it in-game. Like a certain store, to get. that could be a thing or somebody gives it to you. You could try that off screen. I don't think there's any more water over here. Let's do this cave. Can, you, can we surf in this cave? We can. Timer ball? Okay. Could be useful actually. Rare candy, pretty good. Probably use that in the end game. Or towards the end of the game. For me. Another item. Rock incense. Oh, we could go deeper? Uh. Okay, this is where I take a moment to save just in case I get lost. Alright, I pulled out a map. So I could actually see where I'm going. I think you could jump down. Oh, here's the staircase. Okay. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm scared. I'm scared of the dark. I'm not. I mean, imagine being in like actual true darkness. It would be scary. We got another fossil, boys! Oh yeah, we might. I'll probably pop that next episode. All right, so there's nowhere else down here to go. So I gotta go this way and up. There should be a body of water right here. Okay. I'm gonna walk the path though. Uh, there's gonna be a trainer coming up in a few steps. Any second. Okay, the, the graphic I'm looking at, there's a trainer right here. He's supposed to be standing right here, but he's not here. And it's concerning me. Alright, so there's a walkway right here. There should be a trainer on the left. Oh. I think I saw one on my right. I think maybe... Maybe this is a picture for like Black 2 or White 2 or something. I don't know. Alright. What level are they here, actually? 35? They're actually pretty tough. Alright, um, this isn't going to match up, but I'll poison you. Alright, I might have to cut off the episode right here after this battle, which is going to be annoying when I come back into the next recording in a couple days, because I'm going to, I'm going to have to like, <laughs> I, I'll, I'll be sure to, I'm going to pin this tab so I don't lose uh, the map. I already lost. 
Um, Ronella. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, that was scary. How much damage did I do? So, 80, 90, 90, 81, 91, 111. So 40, 44? Did 44? We could take another one. We could take one more rock slide. It's not like I had stab or anything, so... We hypothetically should take this. Cool. And then that just finished off. Whoa, that was scary. I thought I was gonna lose I would have been mad. We're down here just to find a metal coat for Ronoa. Imagine Ronoa died. It'd be so annoying. Oh, what's with the Wobbuffets? Rono was actually good at dealing with Wobbuffets, so I'm actually going to stay in. I'm risking his life even more, but... Oh, it also can't hit me, so... I could double team for a little bit first. Get the evasiveness, or yeah, my evasiveness up. It can only hit me if I hit it first. I might have been- I shouldn't have double teamed. I might have been able to one-shot it, actually. Because I already got the Fury Cutters off on Ludicolo. I messed up. Uh, I messed up. It's fine. Let's go ahead and Hyper Potion. And then uh, wait for it to not use Destiny Bond, and then I'll strike it. I'll stick at the double team. I, I don't know if that- I still don't know if it's going to help with the counter. But we'll try. Okay, I went for the counter. Now we're going for the Fury Cutter. It's gonna take probably three hits to take it out. Yeah, it, it would take two probably, but I can't hit it after Destiny Bombs. So we'll double team. We're getting a lot of Wobble Fit encounters in this Nuzlocke. Cool. Hit it again. Went for the mirror coat like an idiot. I'll go pursuit. Finish off for the pursuit. Goodbye, Lady Voldemort. Level 41. Learning X Scissor. Ooh. 80 and 100. It's definitely better than Fury Cutter. I, I, I will retire Fury Cutter finally. Fury Cutter's been good to stack up though. But. We'll go. Or would, would Fury Cutter be better because of the ability? I, I don't know. There is another trainer right here. Oh, there's another trainer right here hiding in the shadows! They just moved the trainers in this, like, little hallway? There should be one, two, there should be four trainers in here. It looks like three of them are in this spot. Oh, I was gonna end the episode. I was literally just gonna end the episode. And then they threw out this fucking dragon at me. Alright, whatever. Uh, ancient power. Oh, you're scary. You're- you scary! I'm gonna ancient power you hard then. I'm gonna throw all these rocks at you. Hopefully get a stat boost? Nope. Alright. Oh my god. Oh my god, the praying mantis dragon is- Ooh, it's gonna start slaying. It's going to start slaying. There, thank you, I needed that. I really needed that. So I could take a hit. Oh, Quick Claw coming in clutch! Quick Claw might have saved Shiozaki's life right there. Good job, Shiozaki. The reason you're number one in the team. Alright. Uh, keep holding this. I'd already keep growth. A mining. I'll switch into Cookie Crumb. <laughs> we haven't used. Maror at all this episode. This is a Maror free episode. We're not gonna use him, or we're not gonna use it. Can't really say him. It's just a giant metal bell. I thought that mining was shiny for a second, because I guess I'm just used to seeing Plusle. So I was like, what? But no. Shiny Plusle is like a crimson color. Shiny mining is like a like a light green. Let's pull those. 
get to level up. One more. Cocoon. We've also, we've had a lot of Wobbuffets and a lot of Cocoon on this level. Don't know what's going on there. But I'm going to throw my rock at it and call this episode quits. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, next time we will resume inside this cave so I can get all the items. Next episode maybe will just be a filler episode where I just go around and get some items and battle random trainers. Uh, keep on cracking in the shadows though. At night in the dark. We'll be watching. I don't know what I'm saying. I say stuff. I don't know why. I'm just going to go ahead and end audio while I'm talking.